It's Thursday night, time for our Las Vegas Triathlon Club member spotlight. I'm John Mercer, president of the Las Vegas Tri Club. We've got Bob Gamble, co host of the Tri Club. How you doing, our folks? How you doing, spotlight. John? <laughs> Honor. And we've got a we've got a repeat customer. Yep. With with a mustache this time. So uh, I know I don't, no, don't pull it off as uh <laughs> as Ted that, does. That's how it. you manage. It wasn't manage my to choice. Get you on twice. Yeah. I know. I understand. I don't pull it off as, as good as Ted does. So, so I love have, it. you have to look at this for the time being. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well, okay. So uh, we did do a spotlight with Connor. Um, oh, I didn't check the date. Was it last year? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Definitely last yeah. Year. It was last year. It was in, and I it believe was, it was in July. So it's it was about right six. after the first event oh, right okay. after the aqua bike. Yeah. Yeah, and it was great because Connor was just getting into triathlon and uh, coming from rugby background of all things. And, uh, and and he had Oceanside on as his big race. And so uh, this will be fun to now hear about Oceanside 70.3 now that he did that. But uh, Bob, am I stealing too much of your introduction? Yeah, absolutely. Keep going. I mean, <laughs> all right. Well, I, will, I will pass it off to Bob for the okay. official reintroduction of connor <laughs> okay thank you uh, thank you john and welcome connor and and folks um for your for your benefit we the, we have had connor on here before it is connor hewlett also known as connor rutger on on the on the facebook page so don't 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 think you're 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 going crazy that's a uh, yeah rutger's the full beard <laughs> that's the alter ego yeah and, and why it's so fun to have connor on tonight is because connor was a brand new rookie last year did his first club race with us it joined a club in 2021 did the aqua bike uh did a, a club triathlon um did a swim run at lake las vegas and did a an olympic at malibu mm -hmm. olympic race and then as a, a novice, which we can't call him a novice anymore, he did Oceanside 70.3, which is pretty amazing. And uh, we're, so we're going to talk to him about that. And one and, of the reasons we wanted to have uh, Connor on here tonight was because Connor is the winner of our Ironman um, uh, entry. I don't know. What, what do you call that, John? It was yeah, like 70.3 raffle entry. It was a 70.3 raffle entry that we got from Ironman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And. So, well, first of all, just to get started, Connor, um, you, you went as a novice and you signed up for a, a arguably pretty tough 70.3. And I want to know when you were looking at those waves um, on, on Friday before the race, what was going through your head and what was going through your head, you know, your mind when you were on that starting line? Yeah, I, I knew it. Was gonna, I knew <laughs> it could be like that. Um, Went out with uh, my coach, Coach T, and her team before uh, when I got there. So on Friday, so that uh, I think that definitely helped a bit. But you know, there it's a bit, it's a bit intimidating. But to be honest, like when I was in that line, just moving up so slowly, I was I wasn't even looking at the waves. I was just thinking about everything else. But it, it's it's definitely more than intimidating because. That would be my my second ocean swim in Malibu. It was extremely, <laughs> wow. extremely flat. But um, living in San Diego, I'm, you know, lucky enough to be by the ocean. So I know a lot of people just have an inherent fear of the ocean. Um, I don't have that as much. Mm -hmm. And going every five seconds, I think that, uh, you know, like you said, helps a little bit without people floundering and mm -hmm. hitting you in the face. So nobody climbing over top of you? No. By no means did I go fast, but it definitely, <laughs> you know, wasn't as bad as I thought it could have been. Yeah, well, let, cool. let's let's walk through this race because yeah. this was your first 70.3. Yes. And I'm curious, even um, tell us even about the week before the race, so race week. What was that like yeah. as you were getting ready for uh, Oceanside? Um, took it pretty easy of a... Uh, I was some with a, a coach, Coach T. She has, you know, me on my schedule and everything. Um, I'm a, I have a had a bit of patellar tendonitis, so um, was kind of just afraid and nervous the uh, the entire week because I knew I wasn't 
you know, going to be able to go as nearly as fast as I wanted when I was uh, at, uh, you know, the orthopedic, he, he, he jokingly was like, so are you going to just not run or walk? And I was like, I don't know. I'm going to try to try to figure it out. So I was really just thinking about that most of the time, but the actual race week experience was so great. I mean, yeah. it's, it's crazy what Ironman, you know, just the, the whole energy that it brings to a, to a town. And I know even living in San Diego, I didn't go to Oceanside that often, but I thought, I thought they did a great job. That was my first one. So I don't have a ton of you know experience with it, obviously, but I thought the race week itself was awesome. It was my mom's birthday, April uh, 1st. So she, they came from Colorado and for, oh, her, cool. for her birthday, she got to just sit around for, you know, seven hours. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but hey. the, she enjoyed it. Yeah, it's part of the experience. So, and that's neat that you had had that uh, going on at the same time because it, you know, it's your mom and it's, you know, oh, she's yeah. seeing you doing something you love and that's a great gift to give her. Yeah, yeah. I was fortunate enough to have a, a, a squad sharing me on for yeah. sure. Not so only what did, that, as you were doing, as John mentioned, you were doing them a, a big service by making your mom proud. I'm yeah, sure yeah, she I'll, was proud I'll seeing you finishing that. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. yeah. You so know, what 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 did you take uh, part of before the race? Did you went to the Ironman Village and did all that and and uh, yeah, we I wanted to not rush it at all, so we got in. I went to we we were staying in like uh, sort of near downtown or La Jolla uh, when my parents got there. So I went there the first like Wednesday night, and then Thursday we started driving up to Carlsbad where we were staying. So. Um, it didn't feel rushed at all. I, I was yep. able to, you know, start picking up the packets, you know, the day before and, yep. uh, really take it easy. Um, and then obviously meet up with the uh, coach and everything. So mm -hmm. you know, I, it was, you know, an all, all around great experience. I know I'm not gonna, I might not have the luxury of taking my time every single <laughs> race because just certain races aren't as close, but it was a uh, super fun. Well, it sure is. It sure is nice when you can get there on a Thursday yeah. instead yeah. of on a Friday. Oh my it gosh, just makes yeah. a world of difference. Yes. Yeah. It, it did for me. Yep. One thing before I forget about it is you, you know, you mentioned the tendonitis in your knee, the patella tendonitis. I was yeah. wondering if that had an, an impact that actually was kind of like a regulator that kept you within yourself so that you didn't overdo it. And then you had an actual good race because of it. So did, had you thought of that? I mean, in a way, but that I that definitely made it feel that way. When I did Malibu, I just really went, I mean, I'll say all out, but it, it felt that way. I was not like a fast bike by any means, but it went all out on the bike. And then the run was just, it was just the worst. It was the most painful six miles I could ever imagine. So um, I think every, everyone has been there. Everyone yeah, has been there. And going into this, almost everybody told me like just try and enjoy it like oh. it's your first one um so i i think that that definitely definitely helped uh, I, I was with one friend we said let's just like if we can you know be laughing throughout it and like talking <laughs> like no you know it will still be painful but if we can do that the whole time i think it would be a success and we we were there the entire like with each other the whole time like I, I swam with him like I'm a, I'm a faster swimmer than him but he was slow so I was like turning back and going with him the bike he was a bit faster so he would wait on me and then both of our knees are pretty jacked up so we just <laughs> were going slow on the run but yeah we somehow managed to basically finish it together so that was actually pretty cool oh, that's awesome that's actually cool so I, I did actually enjoy it but the next one especially for you know whatever one uh we I get a pick um definitely gonna go all out <laughs> all right so now let's talk let's talk logistics because i think this is a neat you know this is a neat event it's a big event you know i don't remember how many people were there but well over two thousand. I, I i don't know yeah i think it was i think there were over three thousand actually was it three thousand yeah yeah felt like that <laughs> so yeah i know exactly and that's where i'm going is that what did you do race morning so what time did you get up and how did you get to the start and uh, when did you get into T1 and all that set up? So, uh, shoot, uh, I met up with uh, Coach T and Steph and Yoshi. They were all staying at a, a house very close by, which is what I need to do because it was walking distance, but dragged my parents to basically park right over by uh, the house they were at. I think it was like 4 a.m. It was early. 
Um, I know some of some of her crew likes to go early. Mm-hmm. T was saying she go, should just get there like 20 minutes before. And I was like, that's, <clears throat> not, that's not happening for me. I'm going to get there as early as possible because I just, you know, the first real race. Right. Um, so I got there, you know, as I, I don't know how uh, much longer after the gates open, but <laughs> I definitely was there for like an hour and a half. Uh, yeah. So it was good, but everything logistically went, you know, pretty well. Um, no, no hiccups on, uh, mm-hmm. on what that. What was your breakfast that morning? Just curious. Breakfast that morning. So just a shake had a, you can, uh, powder, some protein powder, um, you know, uh, some, some okay. other carbs, stuff like that. Uh, the night before was pretty light. For the Malibu, I ate a ton, and then it turns out that's just, I guess, not the best, or maybe not the best for some people. So, ate a ate a lighter meal the night before, but yeah, just a shake the morning of, and you know, I felt I felt great the for for most of the the race. Very good. Yeah, yeah, that's great. And you know, it was cool weather wise, but not cold. It was perfect. I was yeah. I, I've I've gotten very lucky um, between the. Uh, the Olympic and then this, mm-hmm. and then even some of our events, I know, uh, I know one of the events, uh, that you, that you did, I think it was, I'm, I'm not sure which one, but the waves were pretty choppy, but yeah, yeah, the longer events I've been able to do have been very, you know, the wall, the weather has been great. So I've, I've lucked out. I'm waiting for that to not be the case. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and that's important. Like when you go down that early to the swim start to mm-hmm. have the right clothing to stay comfortable, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Well, it's hard to get uh, cold when you have a wetsuit on, too, though. I mean, it's like, it's, it's, yeah, almost have to, you know, stay cool enough because, because of the yeah. wetsuit. Yeah. I think I took, I had it on, I probably put it on maybe like 20 minutes before exiting. Okay. You know, I'm, I just don't know like what the right protocol is. And I'm sure it just comes down to comfortability and just what mm-hmm. people want to do. Cause mm-hmm. I'm sure some people put it on, you know, yeah. right, like last second. All right, so you're you're headed to the start. You put your wetsuit on. You dropped your morning clothes bag off at the. Yep. That was a nice logistic. They they had that right there as you head out to the beach. Yeah, yeah, that was that was really helpful. And yeah. getting it at the end was quick. So yeah, yeah, I thought it was set up really well. But yeah. So then you go out to the beach to line up. What what time? What start time were you lining up in? What what window? So I, I ended up right next to. Bob, what was that like the 40 to somewhere? We were between, to 40 to 45, I think. We were in between 40 and 45. I definitely could have gone up uh a bit. Um, but my friend got there like last second. So that was just <laughs> we yeah. didn't want to be the people just put like throwing everyone else aside. Um, but yeah, I think between 40 and 50. So Bob, were you in that same window? Is that where you guys were close to each other? Yeah, we were yeah, we were we were in the line together. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it was. We and, managed and to like we once we started got, started getting towards the front, we kind of snuck off to the right and probably got ourselves okay. up a little bit. But yeah. All right. So now I got a, a question for Bob. Bob, what was your last minute advice for him? Or I don't last know the words. We, what what did I? I don't remember. I don't remember saying. You were just. Anything. I thought you. We were, were just being, talking. Yeah, yeah. We were we were just talking. Um, I'm pretty sure you. Uh, did I mention oh anything about going under the waves and grabbing I think the you bottom? did. I think you did. Um, and <laughs> honestly, I, my head was just spinning and thinking about everything. So I was probably not being the best conversationalist <laughs> at that time, to be honest. Um, yeah, but it was nice. It was nice seeing, you know, a fellow tri club yeah. member for sure. Yeah. Like that, that, that definitely helped. Ease, and it did. It my did mind. Keep, yes. That? And, it, and it kept you from getting, uh, kept me from getting, you know, overly nervous and, it, oh, it was good. it was good. It, it just oh. went off uh, went off real smooth. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It, it really is. You know, it's nice when you can get close to people that that you know and just sort of chat, or if you don't know people, just chatting. And because that line does take a long time to sort of move through, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Um, but yeah, as you're saying, I think just going every five seconds that, yeah. that definitely is probably why I had a better experience getting out into the water mm-hmm. uh and malibu mm-hmm. just was in the very middle at the very front of my age group oh no and that was just the worst mistake i could make. <laughs> I definitely have no place being there and i was just my yeah. heart rate's going up and trampled yeah. <laughs> it was bad yeah. 
So All right, so you you get close to the uh, to the start um, yep. gate. At, yep. Any nerves at any point, or were you feeling pretty good at that point? Def definitely nerves. I was more just it was more just the just excited to get it started. Mm -hmm. um, parents were actually like at the very uh, uh, how cool like thing. So saw them and then you know just uh, gave my my boy one last like let's let's do this thing let's have some yeah. fun and, and just went out and yeah it was good but yeah nerves and excitement were basically yeah. that, that entire week and that honestly probably did help during the race with any pain I could have had as far yeah. as the tendonitis because mm -hmm. you're just you didn't feel the wind is going nuts mm -hmm. yeah it was actually it was weird it's like at, at the very end lining up and getting the, hitting the start it's like nerves went away it's like yeah we just yeah you gotta you just gotta do this and yeah you have no option there was there was yeah there was no no nerves actually mm -hmm. after the nerves came early but not, not at the start. Yeah. yeah. And it's nice with some of the, with these longer races, like you have time to kind of calm yourself down just out of necessity. I would imagine. That's a great point. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I, I feel I, I some of like the sprint up races are just, it's, yeah. You know, Did you have any trouble in the, in the swim at all? I mean, cause it actually was smoother than I thought it was going to be. I, I mean, I, I really, um, out of the three, I think swimming is what I'm like, it's pretty what, strong like a yeah or i've gotten i mean not at the very beginning because i've never swam up until like the past year um but it's what i've i think am a little better at than the other you know mm -hmm. two disciplines um but that salt water and wetsuit really make a difference yeah. i know i know you're, like, you're right up on top of the water it's, it's, it's like, almost hard great. to like kick because uh, you're just your legs are floating but yeah, yeah. i i mean i i really enjoyed the swim so did i yeah. All right. So it's great because the talk of the race was the surf, the waves coming in, and it and it sounds like you, you know, are, are were comfortable with that. So that's great. Yeah, I walked out and was pretty slow yeah. with each each one, and you know, being out there like on surfboards and stuff, I was you know somewhat used to knowing how to go under a little bit. So that's good. That's good. All right. So now you you uh, swim into the harbor and and no problem sighting it was actually a pretty good day for sighting it was a little overcast so yeah i need to i need to figure out the cold goggle thing because that is just and i know it's as far as just it getting foggy and i know there's things to do and it's it's probably some of it it's mm. just going to always happen but i was i was just having issues every wow couple, i never I, I didn't fog at all yeah so <laughs> <laughs> I just need to look into that. How about you, John? Did you did you have any trouble fogging? Uh, you know, they can get foggy, but I I tend to use I, I have race goggles, and mm -hmm. so yeah. I only use Brand them new. for racing. And so, uh, whenever I do start getting goggles that fog up, I I get a new pair. And so okay, uh, yeah, and but yeah, you know, there's some things that uh, you can do to extend the life of of goggles. But I okay. to your point, I think it is a really good skill to learn to be able to swim quickly get the water in the yeah. goggles and clear without really losing your swim rhythm mm -hmm. and so this is a, this is a great point connor that that a lot of people struggle with foggy goggles and uh and being able to do that in in route is uh is good definitely definitely that that's what i was doing um and honestly like i really was waiting for my friend like a little bit so i was able to take some time. yeah yeah that's good yeah. that's good all right so you get out Mm -hmm. and you get that long run to long the bike to the bike well i so i walked uh you know my uh that's what the my we just planned on doing between the the therapist and uh coach just saying you got you're gonna have a lot of running in this race so let's just not overuse it but yeah, yeah. it was a long walk for sure <laughs> <laughs> I know uh, it's no, 10, 10 minute, 10 minute transition times. So. Yeah. Oh, my transition was, I think between the two transitions, that was a whole other thing, Wyatt. Uh, I think probably over 35 minutes between the two transitions. Yeah. So um, we truly did like, we were, I tried to tape up my knee. That didn't really work. Kind of go to the bathroom, stuff like that. So mm. just trying to take my time. And I think that honestly made me have, you know, like be able to control my heart rate, like yeah. throughout the bike and the run a lot but oh, very good. Yeah, no. And, you know, I, I really like the approach, especially for your first 70.3 and knowing that you're dealing with an injury, just take your time, get set yeah. so that you can do the next segment with the best success. Yeah. And that gives you a better time in the long run. Yeah. To, yeah. To, for con sure. to control it. For Absolutely. Sure. That was smart. All good right. Lesson learned. Tell us about the bike ride. 
Um, bike is by far my worst. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, I need a, I just need to just go. Well, those, those, are, those, those hills were a whole lot steeper yeah. than what I expected. Oh, those I don't know were, about you. Those were tough. Oh yeah. My coach is like, oh, you do Red Rock. It'll be good. And she's just, no. like, it's nothing. <laughs> but I see, I've seen her and I'm like, it's, I'm not like, I believe that it, I can do it, but it's going to be tough. <laughs> yeah. um, she's just, you know, a beast, but uh, yeah, luckily we do have Red Rock so I can work on those hills, but that uh, whatever the main hill is, I was just waiting for it the whole time. I knew it was a little deeper. Yeah. But that was uh, that was tough just going mm -hmm. and just seeing it uh, right away. Your guys' mm -hmm. video helped walking through the whole, you know, uh, just the layout. So I kind of knew where it was oh, going to be. That helped. Oh, um, going up it, somebody tipped over on their bike. It's kind of sad just going past them. And it's like, oh, really? Are you okay, man? But like, I'm just trying to get up this myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> he was he was yeah. okay, but yeah. Yeah, a lot of walkers too. Yeah, I was I didn't have to walk the bike, so I was happy about that. Um but it was it was definitely it was definitely tough. We we uh, had this in, in the group, we had this it was uh, one girl who was like cheerleading and calling out uh 10 strokes standing, sit yeah. down, 10 strokes, sit down, 10 strokes, and she was calling it out and like for, for like a quarter of a mile, there were, you know, people spaced out doing this, you know, yeah. like following her, <laughs> following her chance, 10 oh, strokes neat. standing, 10 strokes sitting. I, I was worried about um, some of the, like the <laughs> rules and regulations that, that they have as far as, you know, distances behind, but I, I, I quickly realized that's really for like the best, you know, people in the front that they're probably trying to make sure that no rules are being broken yeah. because I, I don't think I saw yeah. anybody really watching over us and you know the people towards the back are just trying to get through it so right but, yeah. but yeah, i didn't see it, anybody being flagrant either yeah Nobody. but no it went well um i was worried about uh just my ability on the bike to uh you know grab water or grab yeah. you know some other nutrition and not falling over because i didn't Man, really you, you, take... you did a lot of firsts yeah i, I didn't crash so i was very happy about that some guy like tossed a banana. I had to like fumble with it and catch it. In there. <laughs> that was tossed it to you. Yeah, it was kind of funny. I caught it. They're they're cheering, so that was kind of funny. <laughs> so, wait, wait a second. Did I hear you did crash during? No, 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 no. I didn't. He said he didn't crash. They tossed oh, him a banana and he oh, caught good, it good. and didn't crash. Got yeah. it. <laughs> I, I was really worried about that because I haven't done much practice like that, no. even when I'm um just on the bike and reaching around fumbling yeah. over water I've, I've you know we'll have issues so um but then it during that uh thankfully yeah you know. that's great and and yeah to treat you know to, it's so smart to be treating those uh those aid stations especially on the bike with a lot of caution because oh gosh, uh, yeah. a lot of mayhem can happen uh in that how about the speed zone how'd you do on keeping it, it, on your <laughs> it was good did not did not mess that up um yeah, uh, I, you know, I have the, the GPS, so was, yeah. was watching that. Um, thankfully, I didn't go over that, uh, yeah. thanks to you guys and my coach. Because I, I don't even know if I saw the sign, to be honest. I think I must have, but yeah, some people were flying past me, and I'm like, you guys are- Oh, right. I was going to ask you about that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that because that's supposed to be a no-pass zone, mm -hmm. as well as a speed Oh, really? Oh, oh yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, then someone messed up. <laughs> yeah, well, quite a few people were disqualified from that too. So, but yeah, so that that one hill is bad, but those other there's a few others that I was like, this isn't you know it's just yeah. as bad. As the hill. Yeah, yeah. You, you you can get some speed, and there were a lot of bikes out there, and it was some narrow sections, especially with some high speeds. And that was I hadn't really gone over fifty six or fifty six miles, so that was oh, cool. just a bunch of firsts. Yeah. But, that's awesome. Okay, so now you get in towards the end, and 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 we're getting to T two again. That was a long bike ride uh, in a very yeah. narrow area and transition. What was that like with uh, with navigating that narrow section and transition? Uh, yeah, I didn't realize it was going to be that narrow till <laughs> while I was doing it, <laughs> but it went uh, it went good. Um, didn't crash there either. It was just go. I went was going through a really slow and just yeah. not slow enough to completely stop and fall over. Mm -hmm. um, 
but it really is so cool once you're getting into those transition areas and everyone's cheering for you yeah, like no. you just that's just so much uh energy goes right back into you um took took my time through that transition as well everything went pretty smooth and yep at that point we were just like all right let's let's do this thing one last mm-hmm. uh, yeah one last okay it's like we're, it's it's almost like okay we're we're, we're we we made it all we have to do is finish this run yeah that's basically where i was at i knew if i can get like through the bike fine and like do my nutrition is is like just get all the nutrition down um mm-hmm. somewhat timely uh, mm-hmm. that I should be fine. And at that point I was just worried about the, the knee. Cause yeah. up until that point I was going on, um, even, even when I was on the bike or going on some runs, even after like a mile, it would be like painful. And I have like a, a decent enough pain tolerance and I know what's yeah like not good. And what's yeah, but you, what you got to make sure do. you're not doing any damage too. That also I was like, this is probably not worth me just destroying my knee over. Right. Um, mm-hmm. but yeah. How is it now? I I haven't done. I ran a couple miles on it a little bit ago and no issues. So yeah, I think it's, I think it's good for sure. Going to go back in just to make sure, but definitely going to take it easy. I know what I did wrong. Um, just after like the rock and roll and not really stretching properly and things like that. So this next go around, I know a lot of things I'm going to be doing better. Oh, good. So the knee held up obviously for the run, even with those steep up and, and, uh, and downhill. Did you walk? <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I was gonna ask you, did you walk the downhills? We didn't walk the downhills actually, but that probably that probably would have been better for me to do that. Oh, um, much better on the knee for sure. Yeah, <laughs> we yeah. Um, so walk just walked the uphills. Um, ran everything else. Yeah, not not fast. Um, it was awesome seeing. I think I saw you know at least four people from the club, so that was yeah. cool. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're it, it held up. Um, once I hit like mile nine or 10, I was like, all right, I think I'm, I that's think great. I'm good. Yeah. And finish line. Tell us about the finish line. Yeah, that was, that was awesome. I mean, once you go down that last hill and you can, uh, you know, once you can see it, it's just uh, the, the coolest thing. Um, just all the music there's, you know, people, people cheering mm-hmm. and everything. So that was a great, that was a great feeling. Definitely. Mm-hmm. It's a crazy feeling after these races, Isn't even it? like after, <laughs> Even after rock and roll, and that was only just I mean, that was 13. Um, and you have all the energy from the caffeine and whatever you're taking. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's it's quite the you know, sensation, awesome. sensation after. So this was just on a whole other level. Yeah. Uh, it was yeah, it was the coolest. Well, you you finished that and then now that uh, you've got this new entry, yeah. What uh, what do you what do you what do you think you're gonna do? So I was, yeah, I was telling John, most of um, my year is pretty booked right now with just like wed- weddings and events and stuff that were just like pre-planned. And, you know, I obviously didn't expect, I was, uh, you know, this raffle and wasn't really even expecting to win it, to be honest. So, you know, mm-hmm. super excited. Um, but uh, yeah, the two uh, that I saw registration was still available was, you know, Santa Cruz. I didn't do that much research. I just saw like, this looks like a, you know, pretty beautiful like yeah. run end rides next yeah. to the ocean again, um, a little further, but and that looked cool. And then the other one was Oceanside because it would be great to see what, you know, a, a year of work and uh, again, what, what I can uh, get that down to. That's awesome. Get my time down to rather. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I, I think those hey, you, have a med- you have a benchmark. Yeah, yeah. I think my yeah, it's a pretty easy benchmark. I think I should be good. <laughs> hey, that's uh, all right, but you did it you did it the right way. So, okay, so now I, I love Bob's question and what, what what are you doing next? And 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 I'm curious what's the best advice that you would give to yourself now that you've done that 70 first 70.3. Um more more outdoor rides i just i was on the trainer way too much mm. um you and me both i i, I appreciate that we have to get yeah, out there i, I know I, just, I know some people probably can do that and you know do fine i know the pros are on there all the time but uh yeah for me i just need to be you know on that uh you know outdoors mm-hmm. just taking advantage of like everything we have in around vegas which is you know so helpful for any, any right. other races terrain um doing more strength training definitely mm-hmm. i think just to prevent injuries mm-hmm. just making your legs stronger in general i think that would be very helpful um 
stretch. I mean, I was, thought I was doing, you know, decent enough stretching, but that definitely wasn't the case. Uh, you know, I actually out. believe you were on the right track with the strength because that, yeah. um, just me working a little bit on strength has, I haven't been injured, knock on yeah. wood, you know, for, you know, because since I started doing strength. So I think yeah. that's, a, that's huge. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and then really just following the, you know, as far as running goes, just really following the the heart rate monitor and just doing much more aerobic type training. And it's just for me, get like staying on that really low zone two type training is it's so tough because it's so slow and it's just hard to do it for me. Yeah. You just want to like go a little faster or you just don't know how to do it properly. So you just yeah. jump yeah. up past zone two right away. But I think between those three things and just, you know, taking my time, then obviously being consistent, um, you know, being a young kid, so like so going back and not a kid, but I'm going back to like San Diego and having fun with friends and stuff like that. So there's probably some sessions that I missed that I shouldn't have missed, but you know, it's a hobby, just trying to have fun with it. That's right. That's right. That's and that's gonna that's gonna pay off in the long run because yeah, you're gonna be sure. more consistent. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. And and that's sticking great. with the enjoyment, Connor. This yeah. has been so great to hear about your first 70.3 and uh, I am really excited about you getting the entry and now you're going to do uh, hope fingers crossed you get into Santa Santa Cruz. Uh, yeah, no, thank you guys. Everyone that does, you know, puts on the events and like gives us the opportunity to, you know, join these raffles. Yeah, you know. super appreciative of that. So thank you. Well, this is great to catch up with you. Thank you so much for jumping on the call again and uh, really uh, the happy training. <laughs> yes, for sure. I will see yeah. it all out at the uh, the events. Yeah, you gonna do Saturday? The I'm not sure. No, as of now, I can't. But I'm gonna see. Yeah, if we'll, move yeah, we'll, yeah air to the side of caution. Don't don't blow your knee out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> That'd be a good way to test. Yeah. That, but. Very and, good advice. Congratulations on Oceanside again. Thank you. All right. Have a good night. I say everybody. <laughs>